Howdy guys, I'm Jeep and Jason. Welcome to a special holiday edition of the Auto Edits Jeep. Today, I put on my best Christmas sweater and I thought I'd share with you guys um, my little convertible tire mount system I have for the back of my Jeep. Now, a lot of us uh, use our Jeeps as daily commuters and daily drivers and in the city and stuff. And having a giant 38 inch tire back here is a little bit cumbersome. You know, you always get that dingus in a Prius uh, tailgating you and hiding and making it kind of tricky to <laughs> navigate through traffic. Traffic. So it's nice to have this back window clear to have visibility, full visibility throughout the back of the Jeep. And then it's with about a 10 minute install for me to go ahead and mount up the Metal Cloak heavy duty tire carrier to put this back on and get into trail mode. And I'm really kind of proud of that. And a lot of us Jeepers always uh, kind of pride ourselves on creating little systems that make this uh, trans transition from city Jeep to trail Jeep more efficient. We're dorks that way. And I embrace that. <laughs> A couple of ingredients that we're working with here. Uh, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you know I have the Metal Cloak Heavy Duty Sport Gate uh, tire carrier mount here, and that's what all of this is, and that's these hinges here. Now, you don't need to get that. I just particularly like that one. I think TerraFlex makes this really cool looking formed one that goes here, and then I think Rugged Ridge, there's a lot of different ones. Pretty much get the one that you like. But the Metal Cloak one has that more rugged, welded, fabricated steel look to it. I've been really happy with it. It opens really easy. And I, I, one of the things I like it, it, about it is the hinge pockets. It has billet pockets here that when the hinges work pretty good. And I'm really happy. If you guys remember when I first built this, I actually had the uh, bumper swing out. And that's just purely uh, personal preference after using that for a couple of years. I'm a camera guy. I usually have a lot of stuff in the back of this thing. And just being able to use one motion to open the back and get back in there has just been nice. I'm just lazy that way. That's just, there's nothing, no other bones about it. Yes, the bumper mount one that I had on here was so rock solid. Here's a shot of me resting my entire back tire coming off a ledge in Colorado. Let it go. Drive out of it. Yep. Go slow, go slow, go slow. You're going to be on your bumper. Hold on. Go slow. Drive out of it. Resting my tire on that thing, it was that strong. It did one little ding right here from the whole thing carrying the weight of the Jeep. So stronger, yeah, I loved it. But having this convenience, it's just what I want. <laughs> Now the whole point of having a heavy duty tire carrier on the back of your Jeep is that once you start going 37 and larger tires, I'm running the 38s on here, bead lock wheels, things like that, that adds a lot of weight. Your stock tire carrier was not designed for it. The offsets don't work, all of those things. So it's good to get a heavy duty uh, tire carrier. Now another benefit of doing that is for all you overlanders who cook and do all kinds of stuff on the inside of your tailgate, these heavy duty mounts and hinges just create a much more stable platform for all of that too. So it has all of that. I don't do any of that yet. I'm hoping to, you know, you never know. I might go buy um, one of Marco's cookbooks and get a scottle and be out there cooking trail uh, deliciousness, but I'm not. I'm a cliff bar and beef jerky kind of guy on the trail. But so what I've done now is I've taken the Metal Cloak license plate relocation kit, and that's this little guy right here. That's the base that has the LED brake light, third brake light, and the running light here that move your license plate from the corner. I really like that. I did that early on and then puts it here and has this little uh, bar pin here that you can just remove to get, to get at your tire and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So what I've done, let's move in here. Now that also includes uh, a wiring loom that goes to this thing and then it has this little I'm gonna just pull this off. Let's get this started now. So what I've done now is with just one little piece of one inch metal strap that I got at Home Depot, I have two bolts. That bolt right into there. So I have these little bolts right here that hold the license plate flush when we're in city mode, then you can just pull it off. I have a weather pack connector here to make that connection easier. And then these wires just go right into the tailgate. And then part of the metal cloak license plate relocation bracket has this tube here that would normally go into this tube here. And I just cut it off and then drilled a hole into the sport gate mount. So that way I can get this nice flush 
mount here when I'm in city mode. So that's the only modifications that I've done is that I just did a little quick trim there and I drilled this hole here to give me a little bit of clearance. And then this, let me just show you this little piece of metal is the key to the whole thing. So it's just like I went to Home Depot and got some one inch, uh, what is that? quarter inch metal strap. And then that just gives me enough room to drill some holes. So I use this stock or the incorporated uh, bolts to bolt the license plate to this piece of metal. And then this piece of metal goes to the metal cloak license plate relocation bracket. And then I just leave that in there and then that will stay in there for when I go from this, this to trail mode with the tire. The one thing I did have to change from the metal original metal cloak license plate relocation bracket is that they make it to where you can run this wire right down through the middle of this thing. The actual bolt has a hole in it so you can have the wires. Um, to do this, I have to make the wires go around and then it'll have to come through the wheel. No big deal in my eyes because you won't really even see it unless you're looking for it. And it just gives me the flexibility to do exactly this. Of course, I will wipe this while I have it. Now I'll put a link in the description to the Sportgate installation video that shows you how I got all my measurements and set all this, this up and makes this quite an easy uh, install to do here. So what I did was just made the adjustments. So now all I have to do is just put these bolts through here. We'll get them started. Get our nuts in place just to get them captured so we don't get it trying to escape on us. So now it's not going anywhere. And then I just made it to where you can see that this thing is just at this height and this should get us dialed in and then we'll get the tricky ones to reach. And these are down a little bit lower. You just get this down in the back and that's a tricky reach back there, but you can see how easy that is because I've done this a time or two. Okay, and that's it. And then you take a 14 millimeter and you tighten those up. Piece of cake, right? <laughs> it's pretty simple. So let's get all these out of the way. Now the way I do this, since I have a bit of a wounded back uh, from working on Joe's Jeep, um, is I use my thighs, lift the tires onto the little shelf there, and then you just kind of lean it into things. All right. Get it started. Grab your impact. Now this will just go in here with the little capture, but I'm gonna get the, need to reach the plug. We'll get that fed through. So the plug comes through here now, instead of normally it would come out through here. No big, we'll get it plugged into our weather pack on our license plate. That's in place. And then, then you just slide the license plate onto the little tube there. The tricky part is it's a little bit blind for me because I have it pretty deep in there. Wait, <laughs> too many little giggles. And then, then just get the, the pin in place. And that'll do it. Get, capture that like that. And there you go. That's it. Let's do a quick check and make sure that the lights still work. There's the running light and the third brake light. So <clears throat> let's see. So we should have running lights. And we do. 
And we should have brake lights. Actually can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna trust that there's a brake light going on there. But there you go. So that's as fast as a swap as I think that you can get to go from city mode to trail mode. I've been super happy with the sport gate, the heavy duty sport gate tire carrier. Uh, it, it, you know, on all of the trips that I've been on with it, what I like is that the tire doesn't bounce and doesn't move around. Um, you know, it offers that quick access, quick ease. Definitely not even gonna go toe to toe with you guys on what's stronger if the tailgate one is strong or the the bumper mountain one is stronger. Yeah, sure, for sure it is. But for what I do, this is great. And I love my little, our little system. Share in the comments if you have little systems for stuff like this on your Jeep. I, you know, it's one of those fun things of having these things is there's all these little gimmicks and we try to be efficient with trying to change them around. So there you go, there's a quick one. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all of the things to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember to enjoy your drive. Cool.